Hey guys, welcome back to another message. I feel like something real fun. Y'all, y'all having some fun this weekend, fam. My skin and shit. Y'all know that's right. I'm saying somebody out enjoying themselves, by themselves. You could be with someone else. I heard an entourage. Somebody gonna be out somewhere. There's gonna be just an entourage of cars or buses or something. What is this, like an event or something? Are you attending this event, fam? Masking in? I don't know, but anyway, let's get into the reading. I'm seeing something fun. Just fun. Fun. There's there's fun to be had this weekend for sure. What's here? Maybe somebody's trying to rain on your parade or something. I don't know why I'd be picking up on fun. Like, okay, fun and fun, fun, F-O-N-D. Somebody's very fond of you, for sure. Somebody really likes you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, you really like somebody. Or you're going to meet somebody, you're going to really like them. You definitely um going to be scoping this person. Whoever this is, like, you're going to be looking at every single thing about this. You're going to read this person. You're going to read them. And I feel like you're going to like what you in this person okay this is just too much you're gonna like what you see in this person but i don't think you're gonna like what you feel from this person it's like you're gonna size them up you're gonna like what they see this person may have a beautiful smile this person may have a, a nice body they may be dressed nice or something but you're, you're successfully growing and you're at peace. So you have to definitely make sure you know who it is that you're letting into your personal space because that energy can get tangled quick, bro. I'm telling you. You got blame coming out here. I still uh, responsibility for my well-being. Hmm. What else is here? Purpose, self-esteem. I really, I, I really truly feel like you're meeting somebody and you're being tested. Your discernment is being tested. It's something about your discernment here. You're going to like what you see, but you're not going to like how you feel. It's like a difference between what you're seeing in someone and what you're feeling from that person. You didn't reach you. I'm just trying to say the vibes here. That's what I am truly picking up. I feel like you're having a lot of fun this weekend. Whatever that could be regarding wherever you could be going or somebody is coming to you, I don't know. I'm seeing somebody meeting somebody like off of a chat room or some shit. Y'all better be careful with these apps and shit, bro. I feel like you are friendship. I feel like you are who you are with uh like within the whole parameter like you you are what you are you are who you are you look exactly how you look in photos you are the same person if you have an occupation listed or something like you actually do that or something you don't have to lie about anything but one thing you don't do is tell the truth to a motherfucker that's lying to you okay there's also a death here I was picking up on this energy in Virgo's reading earlier this morning. What's here? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is just ending completely. And this could be also you just stepping out. You did a rescue, meeting new people. I feel like just use your discernment here, fam masculine. That's just what I feel. Use your discernment for whoever this is. I heard euphoria. I know that I am never alone, loneliness. And if you were by yourself, then that's about to change. You're about to be with somebody. But don't let nobody looks fool you is what I heard. Because you're definitely going to feel something. You're going to see something in this person that you really like. But you're going to feel something from them. Maybe when you converse with this person. When you have a conversation with them. Okay. Yeah. But you're at peace. A lot of y'all are not going to persevere through whatever this is yet. Because somebody is lying. Somebody is a bad help. This person... This person is a uh, a traitor, is what I heard. T-R-A-T-T-R-A-I-T-O-R, -A, -A, a traitor. They're a traitor. 
So why do I feel like this person is being sent to you? What the fuck is this? This is what I'm saying. Or this person is just a gold digger or something like that. This could be a male or a female. I don't care. It's, it's something here about you meeting somebody, period. So you could be with an entourage. You might see another group of women or a group of men. And y'all might be like parking lot pimping or something. Just make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Especially before you invite somebody to your damn house. Yeah, your third eye is lit. You're going to see something. You're going to see something in this person. And then you're going to feel something from them. I heard what you see is what you get. Child, no the fuck, it ain't. Well, yeah, it is actually. Temptation. This person looks like temptation, for sure. Somebody name could be David Otis. I heard Otis Funkmeyer. Somebody love blueberry muffins in this bitch. That's the truth. Somebody loves blueberry muffins, period. What else is here? And then it seems like you're going to be blaming your damn self. Somebody going to end up blaming themselves. Somebody is going to literally end up blaming themselves. Death and service is right next to each other. Yeah, some, somebody passed away or something. Somebody may be out with somebody and then get some news of somebody that they love pa uh, pa passing. I was going to say palace. Palette. Somebody draws. Somebody's an artist. Or somebody does makeup. Something like that. Something with your hands and art, period. Balance. What's balance? Why is balance coming out? Fertility and firm foundation. Yes, yeah, something is not what it seems to be. I feel like just truly in general, bro, ain't nothing really what the fuck it seems to be these days. Not for real. I feel like you are the authentic person. You're authentic with something, but somebody else is not. Yeah, you're the authority figure, but somebody is, they trying to get their hands on something. I heard by any means necessary. Good gracious. Like, what, what is it that y'all people do, bruh? What is it that you do or what is it that somebody else knows about you or something? It's like somebody is constantly fighting this. You got one person in particular that's orchestrating all of this. They orchestrating things. They orchestrating meetings. This person, it's like this person may know the area you live in, right? Say if somebody know the area you live in, they'll have somebody constantly following you to see, like, if you have a certain store you like to go to or something like that, they'll, 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 um, yeah, a little four, five, six, child, if that ain't synchronistic, I don't know what to tell you. They follow you around to see the places that you like to go, especially if this is like a hookah lounge, bars and things like that. They're going to send somebody here. But like I said, you you going you gonna to see something in this person and you're going to feel something. You're going to automatically know. And it could be from something that this person says. This person is going to give themselves away. Heart chakra, obstacles, and challenges. This is just what I'm trying to figure out. Why in the fuck is this person so damn adamant about this? So I named Adam. Monte. Montavious. Shadow. So I named Drico. Cedrica. Shadow, light, spiritual union. This is what I'm saying. This is not that masculine, fam. This is not that, honey. This person is trying to block this damn spiritual union. In fact, somebody knows that you're uh, supposed to be with somebody else or that you're with someone else or somebody is coming towards you. I don't know, but this is a deceiving motherfucker. Whoever this is, they're very deceptive. And it's the smiles for me. It's the it's the fact that this person is smiling. Somebody last name Miles, M-I-L-E-S, or your first name could be, or this person could be. Somebody's going to lie to you about their name, their age, everything. They're going to lie to you about where they're from. Like I said, why would you tell the truth to somebody that's lying to you? I feel like cut the conversation all the way off. You shouldn't even have to be lying about anything. Motherfuckers is grown. Who's sitting up here lying? This person is a liar. Triumphant success is in the reverse. A lot of y'all have counterparts coming towards you. And you have, man, I'm telling you, you got people that are studying your every goddamn move, bro. They studying your moves because they don't want you with this person. When you and this person link up, it's going to be something that literally is, um, something is going to spark. 
a mass awakening period it is destiny in the reverse keeping you from your destiny <clears throat> sacral chakra this is somebody who's trying to come in and have quick sex with you to attach something to you period and then next thing you know you discombobulated and fucked up wow this is very low down and grimy what else is here because they know this person knows damn well mental conflict reverse i can't make it up they know goddamn well that they're sending this person in because they have not um because you are transforming it's a transformation here this person knows goddamn well mental conflict reverse they know for a fact that they sending somebody to you and they're in the background just listening watching and waiting this person right is will see you going i'm telling you i'm telling you what's going on you're gonna feel something it's something that this person is going to say to you. And you're going to be like, yeah, no, nah. you're going to retreat very quickly from whatever this is with this person. You're going to retreat because it's, it's bull. This is bull. This is this is literally somebody that had been trying to take over your energetic field. They had been trying. And this could may as well be your ex right here. You can have an ex that's literally sending in. I heard a protege. <laughs> For a prototype something they they sending somebody to you like this is your ex divine masculine this your ex your ex is sending some woman in some cousin or a friend or somebody that they met at a club or something film your ex is sending this nigga in his brother or his cousin his friend a prison buddy something I don't fucking know what the fuck this is but it's really about to piss me off because it's like they trying to they trying to send this person to you to make you head over heels in love with them and they're not for you at all. What else is here? This person is not for you at all. This person, in fact, is going to fuck up everything in your life. And do not invite this person in your house. Don't even tell this person where you live. I feel like somebody already knows where you live is what I heard. Like what? These people already got the information that they need. That's the damn truth of rule here. TikTok. They got the um, they got the information that they need, but these people are liars. I feel. I feel like somebody is coming to you acting like they're just brand new in town or something like that. They're not. I heard that person is a native. The fuck, they from there. Yeah, because they don't want you to be blessed. You gonna think about something that this person said. It's like gonna be an immediate. That's your discernment. You're gonna immediately know. Like yeah, nah. Some people can't just look and see right through a person. Some people have to hear. All you gotta do is have a conversation with somebody and you know they full of bullshit. That's what this is. Somebody can't look at someone and tell that they're full of shit. Your discernment comes through communication, whoever you are. What's here? You can literally talk to somebody and for two minutes and you know that they're full of shit. Yeah, you're gonna end something. Somebody's trying to bring drama. This is very messy. Why do I feel like this is your ex, though? But see, it's, it's not truly... They sending this person to you because they paying this person or they, they got some kind of agreement with this person. They know that this person ain't going to go far with you. This person could have a whole wife and kids, a whole husband and kids. They know that they're there to only do a job and that's to get you caught up in something. Or to try to slip something in your food or your drink or something. They trying to get close enough to you for this person. It got nothing to do with you. It got something to do with this ex of yours. And they're trying to eliminate anyone else from coming anywhere near you. This is deadly. Like, for real, for real. You need to not trust whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, milk and honey reverse, breed reverse. Man, what the hell? I heard she's a man eater. This is a womanizer. Whoever, the, whoever this is, do not deal with this person, bro. I'm telling you. This person going to do you something real dirty. What else is here? Do not deal with this person at all. Do not build anything with them. I'm telling you, you're going to immediately know. You're going to eat like, no, nah, just walk off. Just go away. This person may be trying to get you intoxicated. Film, just seem like somebody you're out having fun, knowing you can buy your own drinks and shit. And um, this motherfucker right here going to try to come to you like they just got it all. And they're very loyal to this image that they're trying to portray. Child, you will buy this person in a few rounds. You got your own money. You will buy this person here a few rounds. 
some pictures is what I heard. Pictures as well. Like this person may be trying to get a picture of you or with you. Child, no. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all gonna be nudged to just stay at your house. Nah, for real. A lot of y'all gonna be, spirit gonna tell you to stay at home. To the seat reverse and flexible. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, spirit gonna guide you to stay home. Like, nah, don't even go. For a lot of y'all, for a lot of y'all, this is not, you know, you don't, you don't have to just stay in the house and be bored. You don't got to just walk away from your um, plans. I just want you guys to be very cautious because baby, I do not trust whoever your person is right here. And even divine masculine, let me tell you how dirty these niggas here, these niggas that divine fam used to deal with. This ex of divine feminine that won't let her go, he will even send a woman to you because he may know that you're this person's divine counterpart. Somebody is trying to send a set up queen or a set up king to somebody, period. Goodness gracious. And this person is deadly. Do you understand? This person will go the distance. And it's something about a burner phone but it's also something about some kind of organization too. Like they ain't gonna, they already know what's going on when this person gets in contact with you. They, they don't need to talk anymore. This person already knows the mission. They don't send messages back and forth. So it will be kind of, yeah, deep knowing reverse. Like nobody would know. Wow, this is dirty. It's like nobody would even know how something happened, when it happened. This person, whoever this person is, they are fake. Their hair color is not that color. Their eye color is not that color. Their skin color may not even be that color. They are there to do something in, uh, in particular and then leave, period. That's what they're there to do because they see this blossoming abundance that you're in and they're indecisive. But they're going to take some kind of action. I'm trying to tell you, bro. They're going to Archangel Michael. Y'all better learn to have patience and be by yourself, bro. Because a lot of times when spirit telling you don't move, you just don't need to move. Because there's some shit that spirit sees that you cannot. Spirit is warning you. You need to be mindful. And somebody done had a dream about this anyway. You dreamt about this maybe a week ago. Or you will. I don't know what this could be. But I'm seeing somebody having a lot of fun. I just see you having fun. And then boom, here come this shit. I heard that was a hell of a night. Motherfuckers gonna be with somebody I don't even remember the um, bitch was in your bed. Y'all masculines better watch y'all pockets right here, bro, because somebody is really trying to come in and fuck you up. I'm telling you. They trying to mess something up for you. But it's with somebody else. Somebody may even be trying to get something on recording because they're envious. Yeah, they're envious of your person, though. They're envious of the connection. This person is envious that you changed your whole entire life around. Somebody just changed their whole room around. Maybe even your whole house. Redecorating or something like that. You may have been going through some kind of anxiety because something ended. But you got a lot of patience. You're not busy right now. You're just chilling. Somebody might be getting ready to go out or something like that. But y'all just be careful. I'm just trying to say y'all don't trust this person. The guard in the gate. Okay. Magician in the mirror, guarding the gate. Our angel Yuri was at the bottom of the deck. That's the door to spirit. So it's a lot of this anxiety in your energy. And you may be feeling anxiety. You may think that's anxiety. That's your intuition telling you no. You know. I'm telling you, bro. You need to make a decision quick. Somebody's going to have to make a real quick decision. So walk away from someone that's very deceptive. Because you already received a warning. This person is not thinking. Somebody is not thinking. This this uh this karmic energy is not thinking. They're willing to do anything to take you out. This could be an ex-wife. This could be somebody that you're going through some kind of legal proceedings with as well. You could be going to court with this person. Or this man right here, fam. Risk and rejuvenation reverse. Somebody ain't tired. Somebody's like, man, well, what am I gonna do? I'm up. I mean shit. Pray, meditate, do something else. Like I said, I don't feel you need to cancel your plans or anything if you're planning on celebrating something. But, bro, if you ain't got to be out, what are you going out for? That's what I want to know. Because this energy like this that's lurking around you. Hostilities, angel of balance. 
Somebody trying to catch divine masculine in the parking lot. They want to meet this masculine bad as hell, but they already know all they need to know about this masculine. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Whoever this person is, they're not right. One the holding the heart reverse. This is the devil. This person may literally be wearing all red. This person may have red hair, red lipstick, red uh, purse, red shoes, red car, something. I don't know. It's something about the color red or this masculine bloody as fuck. This, this masculine the blood or some shit. Adjacent possibilities in the reverse masculine. You could have a red car. You could be wearing all red. I don't know. But there's the door to um, personal... I'm sorry, door to personal heaven to happen. Is that card is nowhere near here. <laughs> what am I talking about? But yeah, door to value. There's our angel Michael. I'm telling you, bro. Somebody do not want you to meet this person. They don't want you to meet your actual twin. So they trying to send this person in first. Yep. Somebody going to be out in the community. The devil is in the community this month. So now I'm telling you. This devil energy is roaming around trying to get a victory. And whoever you are, you're victorious in the community. Somebody named Victoria. July 28th is significant. Yeah, this person is weak, divine masculine, divine feminine. They're weak because they're not getting any more money or something. This person is not getting any money. It's about money, period. And these two cards came out again. This person has no love, no loot, no nothing. But they taking ills all day. Child. What's here? This is very weird. It's weird how I picked up on a bunch of fun and now all of a sudden this person right here is lurking in the background. Why do I feel like this person is tracking this masculine's car? They mad because they don't, you don't want them. You drop this person. Yeah. Hold it. Just dropped out my hand. Our angel Ariel. So my name could be Ariel. Mm. Elisha. My lady like Cooper, C O O P E R, Cotier, 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 Dozier, okay, D O Z I E R. What's here? Brad Shaw, Hancock, Shaw. This bad. I'm trying to see you, Shaw. I don't like this person. I really don't. I don't. I don't like this person. I don't. Somebody is gonna leave you brokenhearted if you fuck with them. If you go anywhere near this person, and it's like they're gonna try to come to you when your guard is down, aka being drunk or something, high. But I don't feel like your guard is ever down, divine masculine, divine feminine. I don't feel like your guard is ever down. This person is just. This is somebody who can be in the club, right? And you will never see this person the whole time. But then you will just see them all of a sudden in the parking lot or something. But they had been sitting in the in the club the whole time watching you from all the way across the other side. You just never noticed them. I heard the word invisible. Invisalign. Some about braces or teeth. This person may have a very beautiful smile. It's something about their smile or yours. Girl, I got to light my damn stage now. I'm about to say, bitch, you better light. This person's energy is off. It's like whoever this is, they're wearing a literal mask. Like this could literally be somebody painting their whole fucking body a whole different color just to come towards you but then they want to cause something to happen and then they'll go back to their regular form or something this is a fucking reptilian you're dealing with right my goodness bro this is a dirty ass offer i'm telling you bro 
It's something about this person's skin. Like I said, this could be a marriage that you're ending, but this person is married. They got kids, everything. This is a set-up king or a set-up queen, period. They set motherfuckers up for a living. And they're coming right the fuck to you, all because of whoever this person is that you don't want to be with anymore. And this ain't even necessarily got to be a person you don't want to be with. This could be an organization you don't want to be a part of anymore. A label or something. I don't know. It seems like somebody's trying to go independent doing something. Somebody is doing something independently by themselves now. Hold on. Let me check on my damn lasagna. I'm making lasagna tonight, y'all. Child. Let's see. Yeah, whoever this is, they got a plan for you, honey. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't even turn off the oven. This person got a whole plan. And um, it's because they know something. And they, even if you try, I, I'm picking up somebody's trying to act like they're not leaving somebody. It's like somebody's telling somebody what they want to hear or something like that just to like keep them on ice. But this person knows you're leaving. This person knows they're in despair. They know you're leaving. Like if this is a company, child, this could even be some kind of company or something you work for. This could be business. This could be really anything. But they know you're leaving. They they know for, for a fact that you're leaving. You just ain't told them. But they know, they know you leaving this relationship or whatever the fuck this is. Or they know that you are, like when you left, you wasn't coming back. Somebody picked up on this or somebody could have told someone this. This mature woman, this unofficial ass motherfucker. Okay, your child. Somebody done told somebody something. And then that's when they started plotting on you. I really truly hope I get this out to the right person at the right time for real because whoever this lover is i'm telling you i'm telling you spirit gonna tell you to stay your ass at home whoever you are spirit is gonna tell you to stay at home maybe you were expecting to go out and you all of a sudden not gonna want to go out or something i'm telling you what the vibes are this is gonna something gonna save your life you staying in your fucking house is gonna save your goddamn life i'm telling you bro Cause somebody is on bullshit. Somebody was waiting on the day of a certain event to do something because they want some kind of great fortune from this masculine. This person feels privileged. They feel like they need to have something and you definitely don't need to go towards this um this other person. And then this, this privileged lady could be this divine feminine because you got a mature woman out here and then a privileged lady and then somebody else. Like I said, this nigga right here just got out of prison or something. This could be this bitch brother. This could literally be this person's brother, their cousin, or something like that. That they're sending to this divine feminine. Or this is this um, somebody's sister or their cousin that they send to the divine masculine, period. You never met these people. This is what I'm trying to figure out how close were y'all in a marriage that you didn't even know nothing about these hidden family members and shit. Maybe because they were in prison or something. I heard they always keep an ace. Whoever this person is, they all they always keep something. So they can try to use it against somebody. Everybody in this person's life, they have something on them to keep it to use against them, is what I heard. That's what this person loves doing. They, they, they um this this person thrives off of that. 
They thrive off of getting all up in your business, knowing everything about you. They'll even go and start researching you. They'll pay money to find out things about you. Just to have something over you. Like, that's what this person does. And I feel like this divine masculine knows this. This divine feminine knows this as well. <clears throat> but like I said, the Empress. Okay, here for sure. So maybe somebody's baby mama. What else is here? Somebody, you you didn't say anything. I don't even feel like you acting like you were going to leave. But this person's in a nine of swords because they know you're leaving. They know you left already and you're not coming back or something like that. Ace of Pentacles. They know you're not coming back. This person right here knows how. I don't know. You might have told somebody something. Or maybe this person gets readings or something on you. They keep getting readings or they're just simply following you. What else is here? Somebody might have had to get a whole new phone, a whole new damn house, a whole new car, a whole new life to get away from this person. Yeah, a transformation. I'm telling you. This person does not want you to, um, yeah, it's something about somebody caught with the chariot and the five of wands. Yeah, this, this person brings a lot of conflict. Oh, we child. I just lost my damn train of thought. What else is here? Child, hell no. It's because of a two of cups. This, this person do not want you to be with nobody else because they feel like you owe them money. They want to stay married to you and have something happen to you so that they can get some damn money, honey. Uh-uh. The five of, of cups. You got the two of cups, the five of cups. This person definitely wants you to be heartbroken and disappointed regarding this other person. So they're going to send in this page of cups to this king of cups. And they just going to sit back and wait and see what happens. Because this queen of wands is determined, honey. This 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 queen of wands here, this person is determined to bring some kind of balance to their life. Because they feel like you owe them something. They like, oh, you're not finna go and be with your lover. You're not finna go be with your twin. Who are you? Who you think you is? You know, I wasted my life. I done had kids for you. And you think you just gonna leave and be with somebody else? I honestly feel like whoever this Aquarius is, this person been cheating on this masculine. Who this this person been cheating on this person. But all they can keep recalling is this person cheating on them. They've both been cheating on each other, is what I'm saying. You got the page of swords here. This person is stalking the hell out of this person. Divine feminine, your ex is stalking you and they're sending people to you. Seven of swords, two of swords. I'm just trying to say the vibes. Six of cups, six of water. Do not trust these people that y'all be meeting, bro. I'm telling you. You gonna like what you see. But you're not gonna like what you feel. That's what I'm telling you. What's here? Yeah, awakening. Your feminine could have even awakened you to whatever was going on, divine masculine. Divine feminine, your masculine might have awakened you to something. This person could have probably told you something about this person a long time ago. And you were just waiting, <clears throat> I guess, for things to get better, and it didn't. You were, it, it, something about a dream, but somebody is going to be heavily fucking burdened, right? I'm telling you, bro. If you give to this person, you are truly going to regret it. And this is a stranger. This is somebody you've never seen before. And then somebody may look familiar, or their car may look familiar. You're like, I've I seen that car somewhere, or i seen, yep, it's somebody's car. Cancer energy, ace of uh, water, eight of water at the bottom of the deck. Just walk away from whatever this is. Two of swords, seven of swords. Something is going to have somebody. Somebody better be very careful. You just better be very careful, especially when you're meeting people online. I feel like you are who you are, who you say you are. You are that. But this person is not. I'm telling you, bruh. They're only here to play a game. They're, they're here to get rid of you. This is so screwed up, bro. And that's the Ace of Swords true, boo. I'm just trying to tell you the vibe. I cannot stand people like this, bro. Somebody is just so nonchalant about what they're trying to do to you. And they're sitting in the background, you know. I'm telling you. Some, somebody going to be urged to stay at home. That's just what I'm saying. Because somebody is tripping on you, honey, for sure. 
They they trying to they they trying to have this person make this offer to you right now. Cause see, a lot of y'all are too close to something when there's a true offer here. You dig know, it for real? They they feel like you're too close to something, or maybe like um this divorce is almost final. Or something. Something is just almost final. Something in court. And this person, they, they want to walk away and take everything. They like, I'm walking away with everything or nothing. It's all or nothing. This person has done a good job at trying to ruin your reputation as well, but you still persevere. What's here? You are not going to file for this. I'm telling you, this is a dirty offer that this person has. Whatever this is, it's dirty. It's not, it's not, it's not going to go well with you. You are not going to be able to alchemize anything. Look, somebody getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. We, you're getting good karma. Good dharma. This is that llama skin sheet bitch right here. I'm trying to tell you. That sheep wool wig wearing motherfucker. It's bop. With these badass goddamn habits. Okay. And they got a bad habit of trying to block any offers that come to you. Groupies. I'm telling you. These might be some groupies trying to lick on you masculine. Man, get the fuck on with that bullshit, bro. Y'all niggas need to know how to jack your dick or just keep that shit in your body. Because it ain't even worth the drama. You're not going to be able to dust this off. You're going to waste your time. And your healing would be a complete waste of time. For sure. It's going to feel like you did no work at all on yourself. That's what this person is here to do. Cause a major setback. Let me get a money card and I'm about to do this shit. I can't, I can't stand this. Yeah, something legal. It's something legal that's going on. And this person wants to be comfortable. They're denying like that it's over. And they're very envious. They very envious of your person. And like I said, this could be this person sending someone to your person. Your ex could be sending people to your person. Not you. They could literally be sending people to your person. This could be happening to you or your person because you're a boss. You're leveling up, honey. <clears throat> what else is here? This dirty offer. Child. This, yes, this is a dirty ass offer. You're going to be rescued. I'm just trying to tell you the vibes. This person is about to take action towards you. Yeah. Celebrate. This person right here is going to be celebrating bad karma. And this is celebration. I'm telling you, I'm seeing somebody out having fun. I'm seeing somebody out. Look, reconsider a decision. I'm telling bro. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you, Karen Baskin. I don't get good energy from this at all. Pause for you, not that, please. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. Yep, divine timing, compassion. I just, I don't, me myself, I don't feel like any of this is worth it. Ain't no night in the club or none of that shit worth my life or nothing like that. So I sit in my house, turn my music the fuck up. You got me fucked up. For real, for real. Ain't no night in no club or no night in somebody fucking else's house or in somebody's face worth any of this. Yeah, Spirit said take a step back, child. Spirit said, yeah, back the fuck up, okay? You need to back the hell up right here, fam. I'm asking for sure. You need to take a step back and see what the hell really going on. Because it may, it, it seems like this person may try to appear to be a divine counterpart of yours. Because like I said, somebody keeps getting down readings on y'all. They get readings all day long. So they're trying to send the perfect person to you to make it seem like they're your person. And they're not. They have literally been training this person. This is a traitor. This is a traitor. This is somebody who's trying to get into your energy. And they don't need no time at all. They need just to get close enough to you. And this person knows exactly what to do. This person is going to come to you appearing like an angel. Look, I cannot make this shit up. They're going to come to you appearing to be an angel. This person is not an angel. They're the devil. 
fam masculine, I really want y'all to meditate and pray. Because whatever this is, oh, we. And it seems like something going to also catch you off guard. You don't even got to be, you don't even necessarily got to be out somewhere. You could, be, like, at a club. You could be out anywhere. Somebody has been following you. They have been studying your movement. And it's also somebody that got a tracker on somebody's car. It's like they always got this person available to call this person up, to follow you, or to pop up somewhere you are. This is very psychotic to me. Y'all be careful out here. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. I'll see you next time.